I'm Katrina and this is So in Terror and today it's gonna get hot and so I have something that will help cool the animals. I have these installed already in the chicken coop and I have one that I need to reinstall in with one of my rabbits but I got some more of them and here are some solar panel um, solar fans. There's a link in the description for this if you're interested. They work really well. I used it last summer. Um, here's the fan. Here's the fan. It comes with these that I don't use. And here's the actual panel. And I can show you real quick how this works. You can see the lights on because it's sunny. All you do is you plug this in. That's it. Here's the fan. Do not, the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a guard. So don't stick your fingers in there and when you put it in with your animals, put on the outside of their uh, structure. But if we put this up into the sunlight, okay, so. There's the fan, here's the solar panel. I'm just reaching it up into the sunlight here. I'm just reaching it up into the sunlight here and it turns on. And you can see, maybe you can't see. Yeah, you can't see. But it is blowing quite a bit. That's the side that it blows um, towards. So the side with the, with the uh, wire there and the sticker, that's the side you need to put towards your animals. And you don't want the, the wind to blow on your animals you want to blow it above or below them um, just so they don't get chilled in other times when it's not um, as hot and this will help the air circulate uh, around them so the way to install it I'm gonna unplug this unstall it when it's unplugged because if you don't then it, it's gonna spin and you have chances to break it so they actually lengthened the cord of this. My one complaint of the other one is that the cord was too short and we'll see if this is a better, a better setup or not. But um, the way you do this is you use any sort of cordage or, or wire. And because I have rabbits, I think wire is best, but you can use twisty ties you know, as a quick thing, stick it through and then wire it to the, you know, twist it onto the, to the wire. Um, it's a pretty easy setup, no skill involved. Here's a panel from last year. It is a little dirty, but it still works. Um, then I'm gonna plug in for the chickens one and I'll show you that. So there's the fan, <laughs> it has spider webs on it. It's fine. Um, but this is the short cord that the other one had, or that the old version had. I do like the longer cord. They listened. <laughs> um, now this plug just plugs in like that. And as soon as this goes in the sun, it should start. So the old one does work. It just didn't have length to reach sunlight. So I am just going to stick this in here. So I have drilled holes in the side of the coop. They have wire on the inside and then this was just to set it in and it was stapled so I'll have to redo that but um, yeah, I will have to redo that but this cord is now long enough that it will reach some place where there's sun which is a good advancement well Manuel has my staple hammer so I guess I'm gonna have to try and do this with a stapler That'll work good enough for now. All right, let's plug it in. I don't even know if you guys can see. See that it moves. All right, let me plug it in. There we go. So that's going quite a bit. 
The girls should be nice and cool. So again, you want to install it when it's not connected to the solar panel. And I'm going to put this right here. Because that is above the level of meatball. And this will go all the way through. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. They're pretty powerful. And I'm just using twist ties. And it's going to go on the inside. Hi, meatball. You're wondering what this is? Hi. I know. It's strange, isn't it? Last time when I had this set up, it was set up over on Tortellini's side. So it's a little new for her. All right, so this gets attached just like this. That's how it turns. That's how it turns on. In the shade, it won't be going. As it gets sunnier, it'll get more. So, like if it's a cloudy day, it'll go slow, and if it's a really sunny day, it'll go fast. We're just gonna pop this up on top here. And that's up in the sh in the sun, and you can see it's already it's already going strong. So it's much cooler here, and as it goes this way, I still feel it a little bit all the way through. I might give Tortellini one later but um, it should give enough air movement to keep them cool. So ZD's is pretty dirty. But she had hers, now she's in a more of a, she's in more of an area that um, it's, it's shaded by us, but it's sunny, so it gets a little hotter, so um, Manuel last year um, adjusted this so he added on some some cord so that it could reach um, where it needed to reach to get sun on top and so probably should put tape over that <laughs> put tape over that if you do that but it does work um, I'll be putting tape over it. And then this, I'm just going to, I should probably give it a proper cleaning at some point, but right now this is what needs to happen. All right. So we had it before, hi Z, we had it on the actual door of the, of the hutch because this is the area that that gets shaded um, that she would spend time in and since that time we have put the shade cloth up which gives her more shade but I think I'm still gonna put it over here um, and for hers I just have wire that was left over from from actually the hardware cloth um, and I can put that on really easily on the door And again, the goal is to put it over the animal, not on the animal. So... Now with rabbits, I like to put the pokey part out because they do tend to play with it. So this does need an this does need an update for the um, 
electrical tape. There was some on here. It looks like it came off over time. But um, basically, we just throw this up on the roof of the of the hutch or aviary, and it uh, will go. I'll show you guys that. So it's now going. Um, I do need to secure this up. I do need to secure this up above here so it doesn't get caught at all. And I'm just using a, a bread, a bread twist tie for that. And we're done. It's that easy to set up. The ZD will have a nice cool uh, fan running. I will be giving her a water bottle. Um, I'll be giving the, I'll be giving the animals a frozen water bottles well, uh, but this definitely helps them. Now for this hutch, I can use the shorter, the shorter one from the, from the, uh, where, where the chickens were. I think that will work just fine because it just needs to go over here. Now I actually have a double layer here. That's just how it was built. We didn't build it. And so I'm just gonna hook it on that so that the little bunnies don't even, um, don't even chew on it. Hi bunny. That's too low, isn't it, honey? Yeah, you should not have it there because they're just gonna crowd by it. So I gotta move it up. Thanks for showing me that, honey. Use you have it as a reference. Okay, I'm gonna put it up here. Now these rabbits may benefit for, from having two of these, just because of the size of it. Maybe one on top, one on the bottom level. But again, simple as that. And as soon as you set it in the sun, there we go. And as that sun gets, gets uh, stronger, that will be stronger. Now this one's missing a tooth, so it's a little wobbly but it still totally works. And I'll be affixing this on the back side with another twisty tie. So they come with these mounting holes and I just put it through that. And I'm just moving this cord up out of the way so the rabbits don't try and get through there. And so once it gets hot, in, or once it gets late enough, the sun will hit that and it will be, yeah. so here's the setup, it's right there. And then I just have it, I just have it attached over there. And once the sun, um, goes far enough it will start that fan and then I also have this um, blanket to protect them from the sun and they're gonna do just fine. I actually moved this panel to be closer to the screen um, so I could get the later afternoon sun and I just hung it from a, a thumbtack from from above the window um, there is a link in the description if you want to get one of these. They are pretty darn awesome, especially since they extended the cord length.
Thank you for watching and keep your animals cool.